How are you guys doing today? Good. Okay, here comes Anastasia. How are you doing today? <laughs> so, I called you by what? Your names, right? Who gave you your names? Hey, SJ. <laughs> who, who gave you your name? Your mom and your dad. Yeah, your parents gave you your name, right? Well, here is something I also wonder. Do you have a nickname? What, what's your nickname? You have a lot of nicknames. Okay, what's your favorite one? You don't know? How about you, Adeline? Do you have a nickname? No? Well, nicknames are pretty cool because they're names that people, well, oftentimes are cool. They're names people give us. And it's usually because maybe the way we look, or maybe something we do or something we're good at. So for example, when I was in the Air Force, I had a nickname. I met a guy named Alberto Moreno, and he was from Puerto Rico, and he spoke Spanish. Well, back in those days, my hair was quite red. And when he saw me, he said, Mesa Roja, which means red table. He thought my head because of my flat top looked like a red table. So he called me Mesa Roja, and that became my nickname. And it stuck for a long, long time in my Air Force career. Well, this Advent season, we are gonna be talking about nicknames, not nicknames like you have, or nicknames like Mesa Roja. We're actually gonna be talking about the nicknames of Jesus. Now, we all know Jesus had a real name, right? What was his real name? Jesus was named? Well, he was the son of God. His name was, that was kind of a trick question because his name is Jesus. And his father in heaven gave that to him in the gospel of Matthew. It's, he tell, God sends an angel down to Joseph and says, you're going to have a son and I want you to name him Jesus because he is going to save people from their sins. So that's his real name, like yours is Brixton and yours is Adeline and yours is SJ and yours is Anastasia. Well, Jesus had a lot of nicknames, too, that were because of the way he did things. They kind of described the things he did or the way he looked or the way he behaved. And those are the things we're going to talk about this Advent. And today we're going to talk about his nickname, Wonderful Counselor. So what's a counselor? Do you know what a counselor is? A counselor is someone who helps you out. If you need a little help in a certain part of school, you'll go to your counselor. If you need, um, say, help with a sport or a music, you'll go to a counselor that's called a teacher or a coach. If you are trying to figure out what to do when you get older, you'll go to what's called a guidance counselor. These are people that help you make decisions because they're experts in a certain field and they help get us back on track to where we're supposed to go. Well, we call Jesus the wonderful counselor because he does that. In his book called The Bible, he has, God's word has all kinds of advice designed to help us get on track and stay on track. And it's not just how to live in this life, but he wants us to actually end up in heaven with him. And this book tells us the many different things that God wants us to do are counsel from our wonderful counselor, Jesus. And in our gospel today, we're going to hear a little bit of counsel about how Jesus wants us to understand what's going on in the world right now. Because a lot of people have a question. They want to know, Jesus, how do I get to heaven? What do I need to do to prepare? Well, Jesus in our gospel today tells us that we need to do some certain things that he'll help us to do. And one of those is to pray. Prayer is very important because that's how we talk to God. That's how we communicate with him and how he communicates with us. And in the world today, there's a lot of stuff going on, isn't there? There's a lot of bad things. There's earthquakes and fires and people get sick and there's wars and all those things. Well, Jesus tells us that these scary things are actually signs that we are in what we call the last days. They are signs that show us that Jesus is going to return. And they're scary, aren't they? 
Yeah. But you know what? They're scary. But Jesus wants us to know that they are just things we're going through because ultimately we're going to get to this place called heaven where it's not scary at all. In fact, all those scary things are just going to go away. And it'll all be good. But until then, it's hard. And so Jesus teaches us, one of the counsels he gives us is to pray. Our wonderful counselor says, pray to me and I will hear your prayers and I will answer your prayers and I will help you get through these difficult times. And so that's one of the things we're going to do. And Jesus did that. The night before he died on the cross, he was really bummed. He was going through a really tough time. And you know what he did? He got down on his knees and Jesus prayed to his father, said, help me get through this. And God did. God helped him get through his death on a cross so that our sins could be forgiven. And then God raised him from the dead three days later so that we can all have eternal life with him in that place he wants us to go. And this book gives us great counsel from our wonderful counselor on how to live our lives now by loving God, by loving each other. And we're doing that right now. We're loving God by coming here and worshiping him. And we love others by helping them out when they're having trouble. Our angel tree, the Thanksgiving baskets we just did, our food pantry, those are all some of the ways we help people that are struggling in the world right now. But God wants us to also do those things so that we can get back on the path, stay on the path to eternal life with him in heaven. And again, one of the things he wants us to do is pray. And so, what do you say we pray? All right? All right. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus thank, you thank you for being here with me right now. And thank you for hearing my prayers and for answering those prayers. Help me to be strong and stay on your path and follow your counsel. Follow your counsel. In, Jesus name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.